In this chat GPT tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create mind maps and flowcharts and diagrams within chat GPT. Now, this can all be done in a matter of about 15 seconds. And this is super powerful stuff because it's not only going to help you learn things better, it's going to help you see how systems are running. It's going to help give you ideas and it's going to help with brainstorming and so much more. Now, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. So let's dive into how to create mind maps within chat GPT. Real quick, if you like ChatGPT and you wanna get the most out of it, I recommend joining my ChatGPT Mastery course, which you are seeing right here. This is the community aspect, but we can also go over to the classroom and view the course. Within the course, I have modules on all of the up-to-date features, such as ChatGPT Vision, and you know, I even go in person on ChatGPT Vision. As you can see right here, I'm outside with my phone. I also have a wonderful section on creating GPTs, the ethics, and any new update that comes out, I'm always in there making updated modules. So if you wanna stay on top of that, you can access the ChatGPT Mastery course using the link in the description or the top pinned comment. Now let's get back into the video. There are a couple ways you can create mind maps in ChatGPT, and I want to show you the way that I use mostly because this is the easiest and most efficient way to do it. You are going to need access to the plugins feature of ChatGPT, and this plugin that I'm using is so powerful. Watch this. I'm going to select plugins up in the upper left hand corner, and then I'm going to activate the AI diagrams plugin. And this is going to help you create flowcharts, mind maps, and sequence diagrams, all from a prompt in ChatGPT. And it's going to give you a link and you can go and you can edit the mind map, you can save it to your computer or your phone, whatever you want. Now, if you don't see this AI diagrams plugin, what you may need to do is go down to the plugin store at the bottom of this plugin box and select that. And then you can just type in AI diagrams and it will come up. It's this purple one right here, AI diagrams, and it's using Whimsical. So if they change the logo, just know that this is the Whimsical flowchart plugin. You can select install and then it will install it to your chat GPT plugins and you can enable it by selecting that checkbox right there. Now, as you can see, it's enabled in the upper left-hand corner, which is perfect. I'm just going to run through my workflow very quickly on how I would go about this. Now, my workflow is very custom, it's very specialized. You don't have to use all aspects of it to generate good flow charts or to generate good diagrams, but I found that the workflow I use is what generates very successful results, and thousands of others have used this workflow as well and kind of use the systems that I've put in place in order to generate amazing results with ChatGPT. So that's what I'm going to be showing you with this workflow. So first, what I would wanna do is I wanna think about what do I need a flow chart, a mind map, or a sequence diagram for? Let's say I am generating YouTube video ideas in the artificial intelligence niche because I do have an AI Foundations YouTube channel which kind of dives into artificial intelligence. So let's say I'm struggling to have content ideation within my day, I'm struggling to think of ideas, maybe I would actually go to this plugin because this plugin is amazing and it generates a huge tree diagram of different content ideas or different ideas in general. So what I would do first is I would open up my sidebar, go down to my name and I would select custom instructions. And when you select custom instructions, this box will pop up. What would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And also how would you like ChatGPT to respond? Now you can formulate ChatGPT into an expert in any profession if you give some custom instructions. And I've made this process effortless with my 300 custom personas that I've built for ChatGPT. Now I offer this product for sale on my website. You can access it using the link in the description or the top pinned comment. Thousands have bought this, thousands have loved it. And what this basically does is it has 10 categories for all different use cases. And whatever thing you're dealing with, you can change ChatGPT to act like that profession. It can get in the shoes of that profession. So if I wanted to make YouTube videos, maybe I would select the content strategist persona, and then I make it as simple as copying and pasting in these roles. So if I copy, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to my clipboard, and I paste it in, now ChatGPT is taking on that profession or role of a content strategist, right? There's all sorts of different criteria in here that make ChatGPT this content strategist. And then we can go to how would you like ChatGPT to respond? And we can copy this section and paste it over in that box for ChatGPT. So now ChatGPT isn't only thinking like a content strategist, but it's also responding like one. And its thought process and going through content is going to be that of a content strategist. So what I'm going to do now is in order to activate this and make ChatGPT a professional content strategist, is I'm going to hit save. And now ChatGPT is going to be thinking and responding like a professional content strategist. 
So that's something you don't have to do, but I've found it enhances the answers and also adds specialization to your workflow. So ChatGPT isn't generating responses uh, like it is for everyone else, okay? This is going to put you in a unique scenario with custom responses that are tailored to whatever you're dealing with through these 300 different personas that I allow ChatGPT to transform into. With that being said, let's actually create this diagram though. Let's create some content for my YouTube channel. So you could develop a prompt like this. As you can see, I'm using a prompt sequence here, the GCA prompt sequence that I've designed. And what that basically says is I need a goal, I need context, and I also need an action. So there's three different parts to having a successful prompt. And this is really going to help your ChatGPT prompts if you're trying to prompt different than the average ChatGPT user and you're trying to get those 1% output results, right? So what I have here is I need help thinking of video ideas for my YouTube channel. That's my goal. So this is the G in the GCA prompt sequence. I need a goal. My goal is to develop video ideas for my YouTube channel. Then I need to give some context. So I tell ChatGPT, I am in the artificial intelligence niche. There's my first part of context. My second part of context is my best videos are on applications like ChatGPT and a mid-journey. So now ChatGPT knows what to create video ideas around. If I didn't put that, it would be so broad in the artificial intelligence niche. But now we're kind of singling it down to what I actually need. So then I give my action. Help me create a 30 video idea tree diagram that dives into different categories and unique video ideas that are poised for growth and audience retention. Now you might be asking me, Drake, why wouldn't you just generate 30 video ideas in a list? Why do you need to use this fancy plugin? Well, for this example in specific, in my opinion, it helps with three things rather than getting your video ideas in a list. Number one, it helps with visual representation and cognitive processing. So what do I mean by that? Well, when you can see these video ideas connect, you can develop a lot more of a cohesive and strategic plan. And that's pretty much the way it is with anything. When you start to see different lines connecting with different ideas, you can develop a much more cohesive and strategic plan. That's just the way it is. It's the way your mind works. Reason number two is that it facilitates creativity and idea generation. You know, by visually branching out, your mind starts to think in different paths. It starts to think in different areas rather than just a linear direction of what you want to do. It starts branching out and connecting things. So it definitely facilitates that idea generation and creativity in a way that you can start to see certain things connect. You can start to take certain ideas for your own or you can start to create those ideas on your own as well. And reason number three that I would choose to use a mind map over a traditional list is that it helps me prioritize certain tasks or content ideas. Traditional lists are very linear and mind maps allow you to prioritize or organize certain ideas in a more flexible manner. So with that being said, that's why this is so powerful when using a plugin like AI Diagrams. Now I can finally send off this prompt and you can watch this plugin go to work. It's quite amazing. So I'm going to send off this message. And as you can see, it's using AI diagrams to create this mind map and connect all of these 30 video ideas in a nice tree diagram, just as we had asked. And the beautiful thing about using Whimsical in ChatGPT is that you get to view and edit the diagram. It doesn't just show you the diagram and that's what you're left with. You can actually click a link to go to that diagram tree. You can edit things, you can save it. You can change colors, you can do whatever you want with it. So this is very powerful. And as you can see, after about 30 seconds, it says here's a mind map diagram with the 30 video ideas for your AI YouTube channel. Now you can see this huge diagram and you can stop there or you can select this link that says viewer edit this diagram in Whimsical. So I'm going to select that. And this is what makes using ChatGPT so powerful. It generated this entire diagram and flowchart in a matter of 30 seconds. You can scroll in here and now I have 30 different video ideas that I can then go into ChatGPT and get scripts for, get more in detail for how to create a video around that. And the video ideas aren't even that bad. Now you can really use mind maps in any way that you want. It doesn't have to just be for content, right? If you need help visualizing a complex process, mind maps can also be very useful. Let me show you a quick example of that. Maybe I want to know how does something like ChatGPT actually work? Well, ChatGPT is an LLM, which an LLM is a large language model. So how do these large language models gather their information? How do they run? Well, let's make a diagram in order to visually represent how are these LLMs running? Now we can do this in about 15 seconds. After we have our prompt, ChatGPT generates these flowcharts and mind maps very, very quick. So once again, I'm going to open up my sidebar. I'm going to head down to custom instructions and I'm going to delete this content strategist persona. And then I'm going to go over to the technology tab of my custom personas. And I'm going to select the AI machine learning engineer. 
So now it's going to be thinking like an AI machine learning engineer when developing this flowchart for us to understand how these machines like ChatGPT and LLMs work. I'm going to copy this persona to my clipboard, paste it in right there. So now ChatGPT is taking on that role. And now I want it to respond as if it's like a professional machine learning engineer as well. So I'm going to copy that second box and paste it right down here. It's going to help our ChatGPT responses immensely. I'm going to hit save. And just like that, ChatGPT is thinking like a professional in that field. Now I can ask it, create a detailed life cycle of an LLM. And an LLM, as I said, is a large language model like ChatGPT. So what's the life cycle of this? How do these things operate? How are they tuned? And yeah, how is it running? I'm going to send off that message. And ChatGPT is going to use this AI Diagrams plugin in order to make a visual representation of the life cycle of an LLM. This is super powerful and it's amazing how it can do this in seconds. You don't need to Google this anymore. You can just go in here and create your own stuff. As I'm talking, it's already done. Here's a detailed life cycle of a large language model. And now it's generating that link for us. It's generating the image. And look how powerful this is. This is amazing. I'm going to hit viewer edit this diagram in Whimsical. And just like that, it has start, research and conceptualization, data collection and preparation, model design, training the model. And it goes into the process of training and developing this model with the arrows directing us on how this is running. This is amazing. If you want, you can change the diagram in here too. You can say, make this more in depth on each step. Maybe you aren't completely amused or happy with the first diagram that it generates. Well, you can make revisions in here. Remember, we're still in chat GPT. You still need to apply your follow-up prompting and edit this diagram in chat GPT to how you want a base version of it to be. Of course, you can go in here and you can edit it. You can move things around. You can change colors, add descriptions, whatever. But if you want a different foundation to start with, just ask ChatGPT and it will help generate that for you. So now it's saying, I've expanded the life cycle of a large language model to provide more depth. And as you can see, this provides much more depth. It gives descriptions underneath each step and process of the large language model. So this has been how to create mind maps and flowcharts within ChatGPT in order to visually represent things much easier. Again, if you want those 300 custom personas that I was showing throughout this video, I will leave them in the description or the top pinned comment below. Also, if you want to learn ChatGPT A to Z start to finish, everything that you need to know in order to succeed in staying up to date on the new topics and updates of ChatGPT, then I recommend purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course, which I will also be leaving in the description or the top end comment. But with that being said, I have tons of free content here on YouTube in order for you to learn ChatGPT and help you out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like and subscribe to stay updated with any new ChatGPT content. And I will see you in the next video.